If you have watched my previous videos, then you might have learned how to unlock the bootloader to flash recovery software and root your Android device. Although having an unlocked bootloader is useful in many ways like flashing firmware, factory images, installing TWRP, and getting root. It can also lead to blocked services on your device due to security reasons, and hence you might want to relock the bootloader to avail those services. Before proceeding to further action, you have to download the flashing software and stock firmware ROM. Let's see how to relock the bootloader securely of my Infinix device. Firstly, download the appropriate firmware ROM by searching on Google. You need a flashing tool to flash the firmware. I suggest you to download Tranchin software version code 4.1901.23.17. Once you have specified tools ready, then open command prompt by clicking Window plus R and type CMD and hit OK. Before typing the ADB commands, make sure you have already enabled the USB debugging. Now, connect the phone to the USB cable and type ADB devices to check if the device is recognized or not. Now switch to fast boot mode using ADB Reboot Bootloader. Once the device successfully switched to fast boot mode, type fast boot devices to check if the device is recognized or not. If you get any errors, then update the driver with the previous procedure. Now type fastboot flashing relock command to lock the bootloader. Something mistake as I did. Let me check the help to get the real command to lock the bootloader. We need to run only the lock command instead of the relock command. On successful execution, your device system will be crashed and not be able to boot again, or you can say it as the device is dead. So, now, we have to flash the firmware ROM that we have previously downloaded. First of all, extract the Tranchin software download tool. Using this one can revive a dead Android phone, reset, fixing a brick device. Before starting the executable file, we have to download a few drivers. Click on the driver directory and visit their page and download them. Now install them. Firstly, extract the MediaTek driver auto installer. Now, click on Install Driver to install it properly. Now go back to the download directory and extract the SPD driver. As I am using Windows 10, so click on that. Now install it. On successful driver installation, Go back to the Tranchin directory, which I have already extracted previously. Now double click on the application. Once the application is loaded, click on Setting and load the path of the scatter file. Before that, we have to extract the firmware zip file. Now load the file and click on Confirm. Now, click on Start to start the process. Now plug in your USB cable and you will see the download process.
On successful flash, the firmware, unplug the USB cable and reboot your device and you will see that your problem is fixed. Let's see how to reflash the Samsung stock ROM. These are the videos where I have demonstrated to you the procedure of flashing the custom ROM and unlocking the bootloader using Odin. If you have not watched them, then click the I button now. Before getting started make sure you already downloaded the firmware for the device. Also, never forgot to download the Odin. Once the required files are ready, let's extract the Odin and open the application. Now switch the Samsung device to download mode by pressing the power button, home button, and volume down button simultaneously. Now press the volume up button to give permission for download mode. Once the Samsung device switches to download mode, plug in your USB pen drive. Notice that a device is automatically recognized by Odin and shows added message in the lower left log area. Now, extract the downloaded firmware. Now go back to Odin and click on AP to browse the MD5 file. Click on the start button to start the flashing process. Once you see the green pass message then remove the USB cable from the device, during this process, your device will restart automatically. In this way, you flash the firmware. If there any problem appears then you have to erase the data from recovery mode. If you have any doubts or queries related to this video then write me a comment in my comment section.